everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. Last time, we cleared off level 7, which was a really easy dungeon mind you, and in this episode we'll be going off to level 8, the second to last dungeon, which contains the last Triforce Shard. So, on with the show! And today I have with me a special guest, so if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello, I am Harry TM. I'll be joining YouTube in, in May, at the end of May. Yes. Study yeah, that's it. So be on the lookout for him because he might be doing uh, Let's Plays or walkthroughs. He still has yet to plan it at the moment. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm so not doing very well. How far have you explain to me what it's like? Because I haven't been watching them, but I am planning to watch them. I haven't actually played this game that much. Um, well. If you're going to watch um, my Let's Plays, expect to see um, a lot of fails and everything, because, well, I keep dying. <laughs> I think that would happen with me as well, don't I? Yeah, probably. Especially because I haven't even completed this yet. Mm. Just to let you guys know, though, this um, commentary is not going to be focused around the game, probably. We might go off topic and go on something very random. Yeah, so like, uh, my first... Uh, video will probably be um, Pokemon Ruby. Yeah, exactly. Ruby emulator. Yeah, so it won't be all about you know all oh, this enemy is called and all this. So don't don't expect you know a lot of things to be new in here or anything like that. But yeah, for now I'll just talk about one thing that's relevant, and that is getting into the dungeon. Simply, what you want to do is get out your red candle, burn this bush, and a staircase will appear leading us to level eight. Welcome to. The Lion! Wow, this is a cool place. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't even played this game that much. It looks really good. Yeah, you honestly really need to play um, The Legend of Zelda. It's it's a good game. I know. That is if you're used to difficulty, because this game is quite difficult. I'm not always good at difficult games. Yeah, I mean, well, so I'm if not. <laughs> see, if I do a karma thing, uh, a let's play or a walkthrough, yeah. I might, you know, I don't know. I might not do that difficult game. Yeah, probably. Well, we'll just see how it all turns out, because, yeah. well, I mean, you don't want to, you know, go too over the top on your Harry uh, TM yeah. account. <laughs> okay, um, let's see now. Um, This manhandler basically just blow up with a bomb. <laughs> yeah, I fought it before, so I know how to defeat it. It's pretty easy. And this room contains Gibdos and Dark Nuts. Ah. Those Dark Nuts are really annoying, Harry. You probably don't know the rage I have trying to defeat these guys. Of course not. I don't watch your LPs. Well, <laughs> I watch some of them. But... Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah! <laughs> not much to talk about at the moment. No, there's absolutely nothing to talk about. <laughs> At the moment, we are coming up to a new item, which is the magic book. Meaning, with the magic book, with the uh, the ones that we got before, we can now fire it, and we will be able to shoot fire. So, in other words, it's not just a beam or anything. <laughs> you're making it sound like you're the audience. <laughs> well, I am the audience, basically. Well, you're part of the commentary, so yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm I'm actually completely new to this. You've got to remember. Yeah. Everyone who's watching would probably know what it is and they'd be like, how stupid is this guy who is helping this guy? <laughs> anyway, um, let's see now. Um, in this room, we want to simply just bomb the wall. You don't actually have to kill this thing if you don't want. So, um, the manhandler. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm interested, okay? <laughs> I haven't played this game before. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I haven't got to double weight anyway. <laughs> I don't Still. want to embarrass myself too much. Yeah, I guess not. Anyway, um, also, um, here's something that might become handy for you later, actually. These Poles voices, if you shoot them with an arrow, they will die in one hit. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so, um, you don't have to, you know, keep stabbing them with your sword, because they take about two or three hits with your sword. So if you have arrows, it's going to make it a lot easier, trust me. You might see a lot of deaths in this one, actually, because, um, well, these things! Yeah, they look annoying. Yeah, 
In case you're wondering what that low frame rate was, that is not the emulator, that is the actual NES system. Systems weren't really that powerful back then. This is on the 3DS version, the NES version, it pretty much happens on any version that you get. So don't think it's the emulator, because it's the actual game. Yeah. And I'm not doing very well here. <laughs> there well, we like, go. you do ha seem to have a lot of lives. Yeah. So you should do just from them. Yeah, probably. We'll see how it goes. Usually I say that in my Let's Plays Harry, and it doesn't go very well. <laughs> mm. So um, let's see now. This room, yeah, basically just kill all these things again. Nothing too special. Oh, I've got a hint for you. Why don't you kill all of them except from one? Because then next time you come back, uh, they seem to actually be only one left. Oh, actually, yeah, I remember hearing about that. I might try that out at some point. We'll see how it all goes, though, yeah? Yeah, it's only a suggestion. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I'm not see... I don't even know where I heard that from. Oh, um, wait, I do. Was it from LT Kenyon? No. Yeah, probably from some... well, obviously from somebody. <laughs> I heard it. I think I searched it on my... You searched it online, did you? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. We're just going on about the same thing, really. We keep repeating each other and all that. Yeah. Yeah, still. This is definitely a different episode than not what I'm used to recording, because mainly I just focus, you know, talking about the enemies and all yes. that. But instead it's just random stuff. About the game. Mm, this, um, At least it's about the game. We yeah. thought it wasn't even going to be about the game, but it was. Yeah. This, that room, by the way, you don't actually have to go through because, um, well, they do give you something, but I don't really want to get it because I've used all my rupees, I've got a lot of the hidden items in the game, and I am all set, basically. So, um, let's see, we just want to go up to this room, and now we are... So, with the Triforce pieces, yeah. how many Triforce pieces do you get? Do you actually make it look like it's a Triforce, or does it, is it just a triangle? Because when I, when you paused it, it... It didn't look quite like a Triforce, it just looked like a, a triangle with a missing triangle. Oh, um, what that is, is, um, let's see, in the game you get given, let's see, in each temple there's these Triforce shards, and you need to collect all the Triforce shards to make the Triforce. See, that's how it works. Yeah. Except um, I'm not doing very well here at all. <laughs> let's see, <laughs> good grief, Goma's a pain. Ugh. Well, at least you haven't died. Yeah, I think you can see with me pressing the buttons that this is hard. Yes. I haven't even laid a hit on him, and it's his last hit, because uh, this Goma takes about uh, three hits to kill. There we go, now he's Bye. done. And you do not want to go up, because it will lead you to a room which isn't very handy, because uh, it just puts you in a boss... No, not a boss. A room full of enemies, and... Well, that's not very good. Oh. So, yeah, we want to ignore that for now. The reason why I'm going up here is because I'm going to get another item, which I think you'll find will be very handy later for you as well. But I won't explain what it is because, um, well, otherwise I'll give away some spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> you get loads of those on the Wii U. Yeah, I guess. On the, on the Wii U? Wait, yeah. what do you mean on the Wii U? Are you talking about uh, Miiverse? Yes. Well, they can mark them as spoilers, so you yeah. can just, uh... Yes, that's what I meant, the mark spoilers. Oh, I see. Anyway, if we go down Spoilers. here, we will find this. This is... Is it a boss key? It's not a boss key, this is the magical key. It's oh. in the shape of a lion. Which is why this place is called a lion. Because, um, if you look at this, uh... Where's the key? Oh yeah, there it is. If I zoom in... Um, if you see the key... Then, um, if you also look at the map... So you see the yeah. two differences, you've got the key and the map. Yeah then um, they're the same, which is why this place is called the Lion. So some of these dungeons are based around, you know, what shape they are. Mm. And um, all of that. Yes. But anyway, um, for now, we just want to continue going down. If you ask me, it kind of looks like there's a... Um, a boat. A boat? The map, the map looks a little bit like a boat. A little bit like a boat? Yeah. What kind of boat? Uh... <laughs> a boat. <laughs> it, it's kind of like the, what a kid would draw, but with like, lines. Yeah, actually, yeah, you got a point. And a hole in it. Still. <laughs> 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 Sorry, um... <laughs> 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 Sorry we well, went completely off topic. Yeah. <laughs> we just went from the game to explain <laughs> about a boat. <laughs> I got 
guys, it looks like you've run out of swords. Or are you just not attacking? I'm just not attacking them, and I'm not doing very well, because I think I'm going to die. Because, uh, look, I'm on one heart. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, dear. I think, I, I think I'm seriously going to die. Oh, no. Could be better. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> you messed him. No, not quite. Oh, oh dear. I, I think you can see why I don't like dark nuts. They're annoying! Ah! Kind of like dragons. Yeah. Okay, I might have to cut this bit out. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we're back this time, so hopefully I won't die. Anyway. Even though you lost like four lives on the way here. You know? Yeah, so where were we last time? Did we go on about boss? Uh, no, boats. Yes, we yeah. were on about <laughs> boats. But I think we can finish that conversation. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, boats are <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> I think we can go off of that topic now. Yeah, I think we should get back more on topic with uh, these dark nuts, but I've yes. explained them so I much hate before. The donuts. <laughs> the donuts. <laughs> 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 Why did I say the donuts? Probably because it sounds a bit like dark nuts, but I understand. Yeah. <laughs> the donuts. <laughs> that is my new thing I will say from now on. The donuts. <laughs> Beware of the donuts. They're very <laughs> deadly. They're very annoying. Okay, quick, this commentary is weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First it's gone to boats and then donuts. What next? <laughs> Probably me dying. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Why did you say that? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, back onto the topic. Um, if you go into this room, you don't actually have to defeat all the enemies. You can just walk past them. So that is what I'm going to do. Why don't you just kill all of them but one? Like I said. Because there's no need to on this bit. Because I've got the nightmare key, Harry. This means that um, the key will never run out. If you oh. look at the uh, top down there, it will say A. Mm. I don't know what it stands for, but instead of it saying like 1, 2, and 3, yeah. that means I can use it on every door and it will never run out. So it's oh. pointless defeating all the enemies for a key, because I've got one forever. No, you kill all of them but one. Yeah, but there's no point really, because, well, there's pointless killing some enemies because, um, well, you can either walk past them, and, well, yeah, you can walk past them. <laughs> yeah, I know you, that, but the thing is, you want, if you want to make the room easier later on, why don't you just do what I'm suggesting? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we are about to come up to the boss. Oh, that was quick. We could go the other way, but I want to take a shortcut, because, well, with the Nightmare Key, um, I don't need to go into any extra rooms and get keys anymore or anything. Because I can just use this key. Yeah. So let's see, I'm just going to bomb a wall. And now, go through here. And now, meet Gliok. This time he has four heads, so he's a bit more deadly than the last time. Ah. Basically, it's just the, uh... <laughs> basically, it's just the, uh, same thing, you, the way you defeat it before. You just got to, you know, go into, like, this sort of form. Oh, and keep stabbing there. him. Then off that he's done. Oh. And now, look at that. We have now got the last heart container in the whole game. Wow. Meaning we now have 16 heart containers in total. So that's very good. Yes. And from now on, now that I've got the magic key, I won't be like, you know, going to any rooms to get keys now. So I might be bombing walls often just for shortcuts. But anyway, for now, we are going to acquire the, the last Triforce Shard and wait for a hearts to refill. And we're done. <laughs> That's something you got to do at the end. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised. That dungeon was very easy, don't you think? Yeah. It was easier than I expected. Can I have a look at the Triforce? Yeah, if you look now, it's completed. Yes, but it hasn't got the Triforce thing about it anymore. It hasn't got the Triforce thing about it. It's just a triangle. What do you mean by that? You, 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 there's normally a black... Uh, oh. in the middle and it's not there. Oh yeah, no, no, this is, um, they're like, Triforce of different things. There's Triforce of Power, Triforce of Wisdom, yeah. and the Triforce of Courage. Yeah. I think we've got the Triforce of Courage. I think that's right, but I'll correct myself by putting an annotation up or something. Yeah. But anyway, um, I think that will do it for this episode. Yeah. And in the next episode, we will be finishing off this Let's Play, which took about, I don't know, three weeks. Gone by very fast by starting level 9. Level so take nine. care guys. Yep, that's the final one. So take care guys, and I will see you in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda. Bye from Galham 64 and Harry TM. See you guys later. <laughs>